Madness 80 back here with another action figure review. I apologize for my absence. Life happens, new schedule, hard to adjust, but I'm here taking a look at these new Jax Pacific Apex Legends figures. So there's three in the first series, Pathfinder, Bloodhound, and then finally Wraith, who unfortunately for me was not delivered and was delayed till sometime towards uh, Halloween, closer to Halloween on Amazon. But hey, two, two out of three ain't so bad. Uh, what is bad is I was really looking forward to the Wraith figure. Um, yeah, I mean, taking a look at these packages. So Apex Legends, huge uh, free-to-play game from Respawn, uh, creators of Titanfall, and the most recent, is it the most recent Star Wars game? Yes, yeah, Star Wars Jedi, uh, Fallen Jedi, or Fallen Order, excuse me. Look at this guy, 25 points of articulation. And this is interesting because... So the first two, uh, Wraith and Bloodhound here are, are humanoids, but Pathfinder here is robotic. It uh, looks like he's going to have trouble to stand, honestly, his legs. And it's not the fault of Jax. You know, IG-88, IG-11, a couple other droids uh, can be difficult to stand regardless of what company is making. Uh, but this looks like a good effort on Jax's part. I'm not familiar with Jax Pacific outside of the world of Nintendo figures, which is something I don't I, I'm sure there's people out there reviewing those figures. I'm not one of them, and they're not really action figures. I mean, they are, but they aren't, you know, six-inch action figures. But it seems like a lot of companies are diving into the six-inch action figure game. We've got some six-inch Halo figures coming from uh, six-inch and six-and-a-half-inch coming from uh, Jazzwares and Mattel, I believe. Jack Specific here. Again, I've never bought any Jax figures uh, outside of the world of Nintendo, so I've never touched the wrestling stuff when, when before Mattel took that back. This is going to be interesting, though. You know, I like the sculpts here. Uh, not a lot of additional detail, so we could see right off the bat. We'll see this in closer detail, but a lot of stuff is painted here, which is great. But there's no, you know, the plastic, the plastic itself on the outfit is very plain. No wash, no no dry brush, none of that stuff. Um, but yeah, let's dive in. Maybe we'll take, check out, uh, let's check out Bloodhound first, since he's kind of a humanoid character. And then we'll move on to Pathfinder, and hopefully someday I'll have a Wraith video up. So here he is, Bloodhound. Uh, I couldn't tell you if he's a fan favorite. I know Wraith is a fan favorite, and again, people are looking for that figure. But here's Bloodhound in the package, and his design looks okay. It's definitely unique, you know? Something I haven't seen in Fortnite or Overwatch or similar, you know, shooting games that are out there. Uh, the shotgun looks pretty decent. looks nice, you know, more realistic than what we're getting with uh, Hasbro's G.I. Joe, so that's something. This crow looks... You know, we'll take a look, but it doesn't look too detailed. And the packaging itself, I don't think pops. I don't think it stands out. However, it does do an excellent job of displaying what comes with this figure, which is fantastic. You know, a lot of, a lot of like, look at the most recent SH figure arts, uh, Grade 8 Vegeta, which hardly shows the, the figure itself. We've got Bloodhound on the side, Apex logo on the top. We got some great art, though, on the side, taking a cue from Legends. Uh, that looks fantastic, if you ask me. Uh, at first, I thought, like, these were like food stains and someone at Amazon ate their lunch on my box. But no, that's just that's just how it is. Uh, Bloodhound, he's a technological tracker. Real name, age, and homeworld are all unknown. That's the easiest way to do a backstory for any character. Uh, we got their abilities, tactical, passive, and ultimate. So he's a passive track hunter uh, ability. Um, tactical ability is Eye of the Allfather. Ultimate is Beast of the Hunt. Um, again, not familiar with the game. Uh, so I am a poser when it comes to, you know, being a fan of Apex Legends. I never said I was a fan, but I love action figures. I love video game figures. And I mentioned this before on my channel. Growing up, I just wish there was toys of Link and Mario and, you know, the Contra guys and all that stuff. And now, like, every video game under the sun has something. But here are the other figures in the series. We've got Pathfinder in this review. And Wraith, unfortunately for me, delayed. Hopefully someone out there has it. I haven't, I haven't really looked around on youtube or have watched many videos other than like unparalleled universes live streams oh look we do have ea respawn apex jack specific again not familiar never uh collected their wwe figures i can't think of any other six inch line they may have covered but look at this art up close that looks rad dude see so let, let me just bust it. so really quick the insert is dirty again this is you know someone ate their food on this it is stained get this box out of the way Loud noises. No twisties. No, no, those weird rubber bands that snap and kind of cut your fingers. 
Uh, first impressions, live on camera here. Um, this feels good though. This doesn't feel like any cheap plastic. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. Oh yeah, his head is obviously tethered to these, uh, these pipes here. Oh, I wonder if he was supposed to have a blade of some sort. This is nice, man. This is so much stuff is painted, which is amazing. And you know, you, you get legends, you get the latest Joes and all this would be like a solid black or a solid green. So I give them props for that. That is fantastic. Uh, where I do wish they went the extra mile, but I don't blame them for not going the extra mile is, let me get the box art back up. So you could see like scrapes and rust and stuff like that, dirt, grime. Uh, that would be nice, man. So like washes and dry brushing and all that stuff would have taken this figure to the next level. Uh, you know, but it's $20. It is what it is. I'm still very impressed that all of this detail is painted on. Look at that. That's, that's, that deserves praise and props. Look at that. That's painted red, these little danglies, whatever these are. It's pretty good. You know, in package, I wasn't too impressed with this dude, but in hand, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with the detail because it just went farther than I expected it to. So his crow, let's take a look at his little crow. Now, I don't know, and I apologize. I don't know if his crow has a name. This is very plain, uh, reminiscent of Playmate Toys in the 80s, there, or Playmate Toys anything, where the accessory was just one solid color. So here, this looks like a, a shotgun of some sort. Looks great, painted great. Got greens and blacks, nice sculpted detail there. Looks good, man. Again, this is uh, already a step ahead of some G.I. Joe stuff. Let's see. Do we have? Yeah, so depending on how picky you are, you probably would have wanted the side-to-side the, the -side motion on that. But I'm kind of impressed that there's wrist articulation at all. Again, I don't, I don't know how detailed their WWE figures were back in the day. So oh, this guy is not holding this. Luckily, the plastic for the hand, there we go, is a softer material. So I'm just playing with this on camera. And you can hold this bird's technically supposed to just be able to rest. So that's kind of cool. But, you know, that was balance. Maybe on the other hand. No, it's just, it's just not gonna grab the arm well enough. That's okay. He seems to grab this little metal. I think this metal box is for him. I should check the box again. Really quick. So yeah, you could see the bird is resting on that little metal. That looks like that flips open, doesn't it? If this flips open. No. I don't know what that was. They're deceiving us on the box. This is kind of cool, man. Uh, we'll try to get him in some poses and obviously get into articulation. Birdie's not gonna stay. Let me just check again real quick. Does it have a name? No, oh, just Bloodhound. So forgive me if the crow does have a name or if the crow only appears uh, with like an ultimate ability. And apologies again for not knowing the lingo or the slang of the game. Um, yeah, so taking a look, a closer look rather, at Bloodhound. Goggles painted nicely, rim of the goggles painted really well. Red detail there. These little danglies, again, impressed with this. Mine has a little weird, my little red thing here is painted a little sloppy. This yellow looks nice, this green looks nice, it's textured. You could see it glaring off the light there. Pretty cool. Straps all painted up. Some weird red thing. Fur around the neck, looks great. Drab colors all over this guy, though. Obviously, to blend in with the environment. From what I've seen in Apex, uh, some of the environments are, like, they're outdoors. So, he'd blend in there nicely. Nice green. Look at these straps are painted. The yellow detail there. These straps, uh, not a lot of detail. You know, I think that button would have been painted with how detailed everything else is. 
Uh, he has some sort of pistol here, which is obviously molded, and that's a bummer. That would have been nice to have an extra gun with him. This connected to his breathing apparatus or whatever that is. It's painted red. The strap over is painted. Again, looks nice. This fur, again, a wash would be nice. You customizers or you dudes who like to touch up your figures are going to have fun with this if you decide to pick it up. Whatever this is, this looks awesome. I don't know if this helps him jump. This looks like it would have this looks like a little boost thing. Uh, usually I'm familiar with what I review and I feel dumb, but I thank you for sticking with me. Let me know in the comments, man. Educate me on Apex Legends. Educate me on Bloodhound and Pathfinder. So no worries there. Just don't be a dick about it. The straps look nice. Again, all painted, all detailed. That silver is really nice. The gloves are nice. I swear, any other toy company, these would just be solid. This would be one color. So props to Jax. This is uh, not so pliable. So you're not gonna got you're not gonna get a lot of range out of this. Knee pads look great. Man, his feet are tiny. His lower half is tiny, I think. Double jointed knees though. Look at that. No pivot at all. So that's kind of dated uh, for the figure. But it does have toe articulation. So I can't really. I mean, someone else could probably, but. You can get him obviously resting with his gun, which is one of the easiest poses for anybody to do with any action figure. See, I already lost the grip on that. Bummer. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to look at. Let's just do his articulation now. So sorry, I'm again, this is like a live my reactions are in real time, so if I go quiet, I apologize. Uh, we got a good back and forth on his head. Or her head? Mm -hmm. No up-down, so this looks like... I want to say we do get some tiltage, so it might be on a ball. There it is. Cool. So it is on a ball. No, uh, No hinge there. There we go. Arms, no butterfly, but we do get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. These arms are so skinny. On, and this, uh, sorry, the articulation is on both. We get hinge and swivel at the wrist. Bicep. So no ab crunch, but you do get uh, kind of like a hinge there. I don't think I can pop. Yes, I can. Okay, there we go. Pretty cool. Easy too. You know, I'm just, some plastic, like NECA, I would be shitting myself. Cause I'm afraid something's gonna snap or break off. Uh, these look like they're on a ball, like some type of barbell. So not much forward. And I can't tell, it's hindered because of this is not pliable at all. But he does have a thigh cut, double jointed knees, uh, which is pretty good range, crazy. Uh, then forward and back ball ankles, but no pivot and then toe hinge. So yeah, so that's kind of a bummer, but there's still a lot of positive, uh, positivity here. There's a lot of praise, excuse me. There's a lot, a lot of things to praise here because they're, they're, they, I think they really went out of their way with the paint detail on this guy. Uh, just not. So much out of the way without, you know, a brush or, or uh, a wash and all that stuff. So so here's Pathfinder. Again, the box, pretty drab, pretty pretty plain. Uh, got his name there, name there, Apex Legends logo there, Apex Legends logo there. Uh, this looks like it would be great art. I think we're just too zoomed in. And I don't mean me. I mean, like, we're very zoomed in on this guy's art. Uh, it looks fantastic, though. It looks like it would have been fantastic. Pathfinder, real name, Mervin. Okay, age, he really wants to know too. Homeworld, he's trying to find out. Abilities, tactical is grappling hook, passive insider knowledge, and ultimate is a zipline gun. Again, there's Wraith. I wish you were part of this review, Wraith. Uh, I think taking a look at humans is a good, uh, good place to start when you start a new toy line, but you know, that's as humanoid as we're getting with Bloodhound. No, you know, 
wearing masks, very decked out in tactical gear. Wraith, Wraith would have been a good chance to see uh, what's to come with articulation and stuff. All right, opening this guy. So here is Pathfinder, just slipped my mind. So he comes with two weapons, which is pretty sweet. So, you know, uh, it's it, maybe two accessories is going to be the max. Um, since Bloodhound over there came with the bird and the shotgun. So here we got some futuristic looking uh, rifle as well. No, no, yes. Focus, there we go. This looks good. This is detailed nicely. Uh, you know, mix and match with your Joes, with your uh, Fortnite, with your Halo, with your Overwatch, whatever you want. These look great. Holy cow, these are great. Great detail. I like this a lot. Nice bright blues. Give it that futuristic, like we're not shooting bullets here. We're shooting something else. The silver on this is really nice. Man, these are fantastic. This dude, however, he's pretty cool. Uh, looking at, excuse me. Looking at the box though, looks like the yellows should have been brighter, especially there on the lens of what would be his head uh, and the pipes here around his little screen. As you can see, it's a lenticular sticker. So I saw, you know, a bunch of uh, images of this guy and I didn't, I was curious. I didn't know if it would flip or what, if there was like some sort of articulation there, but it was kind of cool. Knockout and a sad face. Yeah, the colors differ a lot here. I mean, from even the blue and it could just be uh, their settings and how they adjusted their camera or, you know, when they touched up the image itself. Because you can see the toes are so orange and here they're gold. Uh, this is gold, that's orange. So yeah, this must, it just must be, uh, must be the settings on their camera and then whatever they did after the fact. But this dude's crazy looking. Again, this is one where in the package I was like, oh boy. Uh, he is kind of difficult to, to, to stand. These feet are tiny, dude. These are tiny feet, and they have toe articulation, which is nuts, you know, and unnecessary almost for this guy. So, but he looks good. Again, the detail. Let me adjust these lights. There we go. I like the color of that lens there. That looks great. Gold coloring again. Look at that. This is nice pliable material so it is tethered to the rest of the figure but it doesn't look like it hinders the articulation in any way which is fantastic please like doing that with lenticular scratching them again the knockout is pretty clear sad face pretty clear as well when you're angled on it correctly man this is great again the detail look at that i feel like other companies would have left that just all blue it looks like he could have, uh, where's the weapons? No, they didn't come with anything to just kind of, I mean, you could just put your, put it through the trigger slot and that's cool, but it is, maybe, oh, uh, well, there you go. Kind of cool. Uh, so obviously this looks like a piston. It's running something through there. Again, pipes, gold lines there, grays, blues. So it looks like he has a little booster as well. So I'm guessing that's, you know, why they jump so far in the game. Let me know in the comments. Again, I usually know what I'm talking about. This feels very foreign and I feel naked. Please take me as I am. This looks cool. It's articulated. I don't know if it's a weapon or a gun or what. That's pretty cool. Same with this. Uh, not necessarily articulated, but uh, this looks like where he would store some ammo. I don't know. And the legs, oh man, this is crazy. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool design now that I'm here messing with it. But yeah, getting them to stand, you know, it's gonna take some patience. This isn't very flat, to be fair. Um, so I have this on a whiteboard that I think is warping because that sucks. But let's focus on the figures. Cool, man. So for articulation, it doesn't look like he has an up and down. Again, if I had a humanoid like Wraith here, it would be, you know, nice. But these seem to only be side to side. So we knew he was on a ball. Uh, this guy doesn't feel comfortable. <laughs> like, I don't feel comfortable pulling this head off. Um, 
nice ball joints and a bicep cut where a bicep would be. Uh, I wouldn't try a full 360 motion because of the wire there. So you're going to clip right through that. Uh, with the other hand, however, or the other arm, yeah, it's there. So it looks like he's, the hinge is right here. Bicep. How are we doing with this? Single, single jointed elbow. Wow, it doesn't really bend. Okay, there we go. There we go. Nice. Okay. Same with this one. Good, good. We get wrist. Uh, do we have, oh, we got the up and down hinges here. The side to side, so that's interesting. I'd like to see that on every gun-wielding character. So Pathfinder could have benefited for this type of hinge on the wrists. But we got a nice ball, and we got a crunch, I think? So I don't know if you could see here. That looks like that's a joint, right? Let's try to bend it. Yep. So we do get an ab crunch on this guy, in addition to a ball at the waist there. So that's cool. Some hidden articulation. Uh, this is limited. Is what you see here is what you're going to rotate around. Cool. He does have a double jointed knee, which is nice. Look at that. Wow, that looks like he's meant to be. I wonder if he folds up like a battle droid. Let me know in the comments. I'm sure he does. And uh, ankle. Look at that. So the ankle's there and the toe hinge is there. I'm going to try to fold them up. Oh, that's as much as he's going to go for me. But pretty cool. Pathfinder and Bloodhound. I keep looking at the names because I'm afraid I'm going to screw them up. They're just not sticking with They're kind of generic names, dude, for, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I could compare them to, but usually names stick out like Beef Boss. You know, <laughs> Beef Boss and Drift uh, from Fortnite are like Soldier 76 or you know, Widowmaker, and that's not a knock on the game. I'm sure the game's fantastic. I thought Titanfall was excellent. And from what I understand, this is in the Titanfall universe. Um, just whenever these companies, so like Overwatch, uh, Fortnite, and uh, even Apex here, when they make such good characters, but they're tied to multiplayer, there's no story. I just wish at some point they'd come out with a single player experience which overwatch 2 will cover um and i think league of legends is doing it for their characters because their characters are so beloved uh we need that as well you know some fortnite adventure game uh or an apex adventure game would be fantastic or seeing these characters in the next titanfall if there is a next titanfall so real quick jumping back i almost forgot to put the weapons in this dude's hand how stupid is that um let's get this one in nice easy fit looks fantastic look at that through the triggers Trigger finger through the, on the trigger. Nice grip. Everything's just falling apart here. I need a new setup. New whiteboard, new something. So I don't know if he dual wields or what. Or you can put this again. He has this weird, this, this knob in the back. He has a knob in the back too though. I'm shrugging right now, guys. So, whatever. Again, just pop. Yeah, right? I mean, it's not sturdy. But if you're going to put them on the shelf, you know, whatever. All right, let's get some height comparisons with uh, each other first, I guess. And so then some other action figure lines. So... These guys, so in real time, you can't tell with the angle. They're just at about six inches. I can see the angle may differ. They may look over six inches here, but they're not. They look to be, uh, they're about six inches on the dot. This is real time from here to there. Real time. This is real uh, measurements there. Thanks to Sean for building this for me. This dude just will not stand. Good Lord. His tiny baby feet. You thought Bucky Cat feet were small. We're just going to lean him here. I, go, uh, I just don't want to waste a lot of time. So, the best line that Hasbro ever failed on, Overwatch. We'll get Soldier 76 here on screen. Look at that. 
from one popular shooter to another. God, I haven't messed with this dude in a while. They look great. Zarya. This just this is like the new generation of gaming icons right here. Overwatch Apex. Fantastic. So here is Abstract. If you haven't picked this dude up, he should be like 13 bucks. This is Jazzwares uh, Fortnite. He should be 13 bucks on Amazon. Worth uh, getting if you want like a little paint roller and some gun accessories. Or just a dude who uh, clearly is a graffiti artist. So Jazzwares Fortnite. This guy looks a little short, man, compared to them. Let's get Drift in here. This is the latest Drift. Uh... I say latest because the first release of Drift in action figure form, a uh, six inch action figure form was done by McFarlane. And that was a seven inch figure actually. Looks awesome. So I did mention Star Wars. Here's Luke, uh, Snowspeeder Luke. With the Apex guys. He's a shorter Black Series character, but you know, you could see this guy walking around tattooing. Good Lord, nobody's standing today. Here they are real quick with uh, McFarlane, Fortnite, Big Mouth. It's just a guess. I forgot his name already. But And finally, here they are with an average scale Marvel Legends, uh, the latest Phantom X on the Bucky Cap body. Uh, doing this just because in case you customizers want to tear these guys apart, you know where they stand, you know what they could fit in, what lines and whatnot. But there you have it. Bloodhound and Pathfinder from Apex Legends. Again, looking forward to that Wraith figure. One last close-up, and that is it for Bloodhound and Pathfinder from the Jax Pacific Apex Legends line. Uh, Jax, welcome to the 6-inch video game action figure world. Awesome. I think these are pretty cool. Uh, they're not going to be for everybody. You know, a lot of you guys are very uh, thrifty, which is good. It's a good trait to have. Very uh, mindful on what you spend your money on. I don't think these characters in the first wave have anything uh, that just popped, that stand out the way, uh, God, what was his, the bunny from Fortnite? You know, that really took people, like, people were like, what the heck, I need this guy, he's in a pink bunny suit. Uh, yeah, I mean, these are a little more serious, but not, again, not so serious given the, the aesthetics of the game itself. But again, a lot to be praised here you know some of the articulation was surprising especially this is a great robot great droid great whatever you want to call him uh and then this guy's detail the paint detail is still surprising um uh, i think washes and dry brushes will take these figures to that next level um yeah i don't know what these pegs are for it's bugging me again you can just slide the weapons there put it through the trigger and leave them there they don't hold them securely though but hopefully we'll have Wraith soon. We can take a look at an actual humanoid figure. And, uh, you know, hopefully she has some ankle pivot. I doubt it if this dude does not. Which is a bummer. Maybe they'll hear our cries. If this does very well, they'll listen to fan feedback. Hopefully. But that's it for me. Uh, stay tuned to another video game themed action figure review. And thank you for sticking around. Uh, a lot of us, you know, a lot of us... YouTubers, they pump content out all the time. And then a lot of us have breaks because we need to, uh, whether it's mental health or work and all that. For me, it was work, uh, son's virtual learning and all that stuff. Trying to adjust to a schedule. Uh, everybody's in the house all the time and that's annoying. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you again. Thanks for checking these out. Again, I I'd say pick them up. Uh, Pathfinder would be my favorite of these two. Uh, fun, fun toy, you know, fun to pose around, fun to play with. So take a look at my other videos. I appreciate it. Stick around, more to come.